Immaculate, a psychological horror film featuring Sidney Sweeney in the lead role and as co-producer, centers on a young woman who embarks on a new chapter of her life as a newly ordained Catholic nun in an Italian convent. However, as events take a dark turn, she confronts the unsettling secrets lurking within its walls. The film made its debut at South by Southwest, receiving a range of reviews. Interestingly, it finds itself juxtaposed with The First Omen, a prequel to the Omen series, as both narratives revolve around immaculate conceptions. With a runtime of 89 minutes, the audience is left to ponder whether this conception is truly divine or harbors something far more sinister. But before we get into the review, if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, hitting the notification bell will alert you when we drop new content. Now, let's get critical. The story begins with Sister Mary, driven by a desperate bid for escape from her Roman Catholic convent, stealing a set of keys belonging to a superior, only to be ambushed and buried alive by hooded assailants. Meanwhile, Sister Cecilia, whose near-death experience as a child led her to devote herself to Christianity, receives an invitation from Father Sal Tedeschi to join a convent in Italy specializing in the care of dying nuns. Despite her reservations, Cecilia takes her vows and becomes entrenched in the enigmatic workings of the convent. Upon arrival, Cecilia forms a bond with Sister Gwen and becomes increasingly unsettled by the peculiarities she observes, including inexplicable scars on the feet of an elderly nun and the veneration of a supposed relic, a holy nail purportedly taken from the cross of Jesus. Her world is further upended when she discovers she is pregnant despite her virginity, leading the convent's inhabitants to hail her as a modern-day Virgin Mary. As Cecilia grapples with her miraculous pregnancy, jealousy and resentment brew among her fellow nuns, culminating in a violent confrontation with Sister Isabel, who harbors envy towards Cecilia's perceived favor. The discovery of a cryptic message hidden behind a painting sparks Cecilia's realization that something sinister lurks within the convent's walls, prompting her desperate attempts to uncover the truth and escape its clutches. Despite her efforts to flee and expose the horrors she has witnessed, Cecilia finds herself ensnared in Father Tedeschi's diabolical scheme. Using genetic manipulation and the supposed DNA of the Holy Nail to impregnate nuns in pursuit of creating a new messiah. With her life in peril, Cecilia takes matters into her own hands, confronting her oppressors in a harrowing battle for survival and freedom. In a climactic showdown, Cecilia confronts Tedeschi and his cohorts, resorting to extreme measures to thwart their heinous plans. Amidst the chaos and violence, she delivers her grotesque offspring and ultimately destroys Tedeschi and his twisted experiments emerging battered but victorious from the ordeal, haunted by the horrors she has endured. With just a few titles to his name, Immaculate stands as director Michael Mohan's most significant project to date. Growing up in Boston, a city with a strong Catholic presence, Mohan drew inspiration from his Catholic upbringing for this film. He had previously collaborated with lead actress Sidney Sweeney, and after her success in Euphoria, Sweeney's production company 5050 Films took the lead in producing the film. Originally intended to feature a cast of high school girls, the setting was changed to a convent in Rome to better align with Sweeney's profile and audience expectations. The film predominantly unfolds in one location, the convent itself. The screenplay of Immaculate is considered mediocre, offering a slow burn but lacking a climactic ending to justify the buildup. The narrative introduces Sister Cecilia, played by Sweeney, and relies on clunky expositional dialogue to quickly establish her backstory and current circumstances. Some interactions, like those between Cecilia and Father Tedeschi, feel forced, as Cecilia reveals information that would likely already be known to Tedeschi, seemingly for the audience's benefit. Despite attempts to build tension and create a haunting atmosphere, the film struggles to provide a clear depiction of the convent's nature. While it hints at a satanic undertone, this aspect remains unsubstantiated, with the only hints being ritualistic masks and religious fervor, which are not exclusive to Satanism. Sweeney delivers an adequate performance, often portraying a facade of innocence and naivete. She excels in portraying her character's capacity to delve into dark places or evoke tears effortlessly. Her depiction of giving birth is commendable, although lacking the raw, primal essence that only a mother who has experienced childbirth could truly convey. Some may find her performance slightly exaggerated, but it aligns with the film's overarching theme of suffering is love, which ties into the symbolism of motherhood, sisterhood, and the convent itself. The movie subverts this theme as Cecilia, despite carrying the baby to full term, ultimately ends its life, reflecting her lack of love for the convent or the child. 
I believe the movie could have been significantly improved by providing more backstory or insight into why Cecilia was chosen beyond just her DNA. The notion of being chosen by God feels like a cliche and a convenient plot device to thrust the character into a perilous situation, especially when there are likely hundreds of other convents Cecilia could have joined. Additionally, the subplot of Father Tedeschi's background as a biologist turned religious zealot who masters genetic engineering feels implausible and poorly developed. This lack of clarity detracts from the movie's plausibility, particularly when Cecilia discovers her pregnancy without having engaged in intercourse. Her immediate acceptance of this without considering the possibility of in vitro fertilization seems unrealistic. Furthermore, it's difficult to believe that Sister Mary and Sister Gwen were the only ones over the 20 years aware of the sinister happenings in the convent. It's likely that other nuns may have suspected or attempt to expose the truth only to meet untimely ends. This raises questions about the involvement of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese and whether they are aware of and condone the activities of the convent, or if the convent operates without oversight. Ultimately, Immaculate falls short of delivering anything truly innovative or compelling to the horror genre, leaving viewers with a sense of emptiness and the lingering question of what now? There are no resolutions, no consequences, it just ends. Given these shortcomings, I would give the film a critical rating of C-. Doing out here. Don't you want to dance? Sure. I'm just a prom night dumpster baby.